all the people present to witness that I, Sam Mason, take you, Courtney Everson, to be my wonderful oh. wedded wife. I call on the people present to witness that I, Courtney Ebertson, take you, Sam Mason, to be my lawfully wedded husband. Honey, I found it. I have tried and tried to somehow find the right words and phrase them in just the right way so that you can truly know how much you mean to me. Courtney, you dazzled me from the moment we met way back in primary school. Your brilliant, cheeky smile, fiery passion, hair to match, captured me utterly. Who could have known back then what would become of that tiny crush? It was a long path to get to where we are today. The reintroduction by Jordan years later, many excuses made to drive you to parties and the faithful trip to Bali that sealed the deal. Honestly, with how blind we both were in the beginning, I'm surprised our friends didn't start a betting pool. <laughs> my heart, it feels like my chest can barely contain it. Like it's trying to escape because it doesn't belong to me anymore. It belongs to you. And if you wanted it, I'd wish nothing in exchange. No gifts, no goods, no demonstrations of devotion. Nothing but knowing you love them too. Just your heart in exchange for mine. When Sam and Courtney started dating, seeing them together felt so natural. They complemented each other so well. I think all of us knew we were going to end up here from the beginning. Courtney, who has always warmed with her smile, improved moods with her laugh, and come out with some killer jokes. <laughs> when I say you deserve this man, it is one of the highest compliments of which I am capable. To see you both together today with the love and all the friends and family proves to me that fate sometimes intervenes. What did I think if he was to ask to marry CJ? Uh, my reply was, uh, are you asking me? <laughs> to which I got a yes. And uh, of course, uh, I was delighted and uh, nearly teared up again. At that stage, I asked Sam when he was going to propose, thinking New Year's Eve would be a great time, you know, heading back home, let's get the deed done. No, no, no. He said, uh, well, you've organised this great trip up to Harrington with Arabella on the 28th for her birthday. That'd be a great time, don't you think? This little bugger was going to make me sit on it for two months. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sam, but I've got to tell you there were a few breaches of security. 